Before you started making this film, what would be the first thing that came to your mind when somebody would say the name Elton John? The Lion King. Just the incredible music. Amazing performer who kind of writes hit after hit after hit. I was so familiar with Elton John's music because it was like part of the soundscape of my childhood. The tendency towards the tempestuous. These mad costumes and crazy things. What our film seeks to do is rather than just make the lazy observation that Elton's a diva, we seek to humanize and explore and explain that. But now when somebody says that name to you, what, what comes to mind? His vulnerability, I think. This loving, generous, kind man. He has this incredible duality between being a phenomenally ferocious, intimidating stage presence and personality, but this capacity to also be very sweet and vulnerable. What was the best bit of advice or piece of research that you got for preparing to play this role? And I would hear kind of, oh yes, she would say this to him a lot, or oh yes, this is what it was like, or mm -hmm, yeah, children were scared of her. Like when I would hear those things, it was like these clues. When I first read the script, I felt like she was being vilified, mm. and I just felt that was wrong. And the more I learned, the more I realized that actually it was worse. To just not think about the singing, just think about the acting. You throw that out, you just focus on the acting, then the singing kind of comes much more naturally. For you, what was kind of the core of getting down to who Elton really is? Exploring the creative partnership with Bernie Taupin. It's quite an interesting friendship to see on screen. You know, we've seen a lot of kind of bro movies, um, and they're fun. But, you know, I think that this is a slightly sweeter relationship, and it's, and it's one that I've really enjoyed. I felt like when I was watching it, that it was, it was treated in some ways like a love story, and I really appreciated that because you don't really Absolutely. see friendships. Absolutely, it's a platonic love story. What was it like for uh, to, to be on set and to witness Taryn's transformation? Well, every day was, was quite funny because I'd be waiting for him to come out of his trailer to see what wacky outfit he'd be in, which is always good fun. But obviously, you didn't live through these eras that were depicted in the film. What was it like for you to get to visit for a little while? I mean, I've always felt like a bit of an old soul, if truth be told, I've often wished that I could go back in a time machine, and this is probably the nearest I'll ever get to that, if truth be told, so it's been a great little adventure.